Welcome back to another episode of Opening Train Cards. And today, I'm going to be opening up six Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th Anniversary Dueling Tins. And yes, you could see me. The tins are blocking my view. Let me get these out of the way. And no, we're not opening these. These is what I'm talking about. Featuring Yugi and Kaiba. Really excited for this set because look at the similarities to last year's tins. See the sides? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And you got the 25th anniversary tins. Except Yugi's in both tins, that is. And also, we've got some differences from last year's tins. We're getting one Prismatic Secret Rare and one Quarter Century Secret Rare, three Ultra Rares and eight Commons, without any Rares or Super Rares, that is. But I'm really excited to open this set after all. You think we'll pull something good out of there? Well then, let's start the opening. Now before we get into the tins, it's time for a round of single show off. Here are the cards that I got that you guys haven't seen. We got the Rarity Collection 2. These are all the cards I pulled that are valued 50 cents or more, including Silent Magician, Platinum Secret Rare, and I got a Quarter Century Secret Rare, Solon's Luna. Very nice looking there. Also got two Crystal Bees Ruby Carbungles that I got for free when I was at my local Yu-Gi-Oh! game shop. Um, yeah, those aren't valued more than 50 cents, but I actually run a Crystal Beast deck, and that's really nice for the person who gave me these cards to put it in there. So, very grateful for that. And I also got some more trades. Got two, Lord of the Heavenly Prison and Muckraker from the Underworld. Those are from the Mega Tins, 2022 and 2023. This was last year's. I pulled this before. And I've also bought some, you know, singles. I got a Cyber Dragon Quarter Century Secret Rare that I never pulled. And we got all these Pokemon cards. Oh yeah, and another thing... I even bought some Battle Legends Terminal Revenge packs. I've only got four of them though, so might as well start these before the tins, that is. Start off with this one. I know the card trick. Two in the front. Let's see, we got Hexa, Spirit of the Ice Barrier, Orcist Harp Horror, Toy Box, Electro Blaster, and Ritual Beast. Got a fusion monster there. Pack number two. We got a ritual beast. Spiritual beast, Tamer Winda. Sacrifice level up. Mira Match. And Gigantic Sprite. Very nice looking card there. Got another Ritual Beast, Infernoid, Toy Box again, Electrod Beast, and Winged Karibo level 6. We got Sprite Red, Sprite Pixies, Synchro Panic, Earthbound, and Snatch Steel. This is the card that just got limited. Very nice card there. So yeah, that's of course only four cards we got. The four secret rares. Beauty. Pin number one. So we get 18 packs to open for six tins. 
Let's see what Quarter Century Secret Rare and our Secret Rare is going to be. We got Card Scanner. Chaos Phantasm. Shell of Chaos. Emperor. Earthbound Prisoner Line Walker, Storage Pod, we got Giant Ball Game. Very nice. Next up. We got the Kaku Commander, Relum, New Frontier. Comet General, Soul of the Supreme King, Gold Pride Leon, and we got the Right Arm of the Forbidden One. Oh yeah, I really love this one. Like, look, the Exodia pieces they included. They actually did the opposite. We only got the head from the last tin, but here, we got only the other parts, except for the head. So we will definitely take that. Got Pearl Year. Slayer, Typhoon, Sky Crisis. Oh yeah, this is a really sick card back when it was released in Age of Overlord. Definitely expensive. And oh boy, we got the left leg of the Forbidden One. Nice, I need two more pieces to complete the set. Got Sweet Dreams. So that wraps up with 10 number one. Let's go on with 10 number two. Relum. How did Die get here? I don't even know. Axian Trust. Mentai Core of Smashing. Infernoble Knight. Turpin. Chimera, the King of Phantom Beasts. Excel Synchron Stardust Dragon. Very nice one. I never pulled it from Maze of Memories. Got Vanquish Soul, Snow Devil. The Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. Chaos Marriage Dragon. Rescue Ace Impulse. We got other four of them. Pendulum Evolution. Yep. Next one. Click and Echo. Infinite Antleon. UFO Lights. Firewall Phantom. Yeah. King Sark Pocket This is another sick card from Age of Overlord. And we got Red Dragon Archfiend. Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamond. Earthbound Servant. Now we're down to our third ten. Spirit Walk, Soul Scheduling, Pearly Shirley, Small Scuffle, Galaxy Summoner, Yeah! Got Primer, Another Excel Synchro, Stardust Dragon, Vanquish Soul Snow Devil again, The Absence Dragon Sword Soul, and got the other four. There we go. Realm, again. 
How did I get here? Once again, I don't know. Land flipping. Realm Resonance. Evelsor Leo. Dybel Star the Black Witch. Dark Magician Girl! Very beauty there. We've got Trap Tracks. And we got the Generator Bosses. Summonites, Double-Headed Dino King Rex, Vanguard of the Underground Emperor, Chaos Phantasm, Ashra King, Usa the Earth Channeler, <coughs> Number F-Zero Utopic Drago Future! Very nice card there! Got Melfi Hide and Seek, Rescue Ace Impulse, Double Hooking, Attitude of the Branded. Now we're down to our fourth pack. Core of Chaos, Pendulum Moon, Gree Jar, Hurley Sherly, Forge a New Future, Fire Recovery, and we got the Blue Eyes, White Dragon, one of my favorite monsters. I'm so happy I got it. Ah, oh, yeah, has the original art from the Star Deck Kaiba that was released back in 2002. We will definitely take that. Got Banishing Trap Hole, Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth. Pendulum Evolution, that's it. <laughs> Red Eyes, Black Meter Dragon. Got Light and Darkness Dragon. Angel of Blue Tears, Super Heavy Samurai Security, Got Giant Ball Game, Brand of Fallen, Cash Tira Big Bang, and Terra. Double Headed Dino King Rex again, Vote on Time Stop, Vanguard of the Underground Emperor, Gashki Grimness, Invocation. Another Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon. I now have three of them. Acid Mountis. Gold Pride Nitro Head. We're down to the fifth ten. Let's see what we can get from this one. Hopefully another Exodia piece would be nice. Got double-headed Dino King Rex. Photon Time Stop. Million Century Ice Prison. Supreme King. Dragon Utopian Era. Yeah. And we got the left arm of the Forbidden One. <laughs> yeah. I just need one more to complete the set. In um, four Century Secret Rares that is. Got Horus. So I got the Dragon Emperor. Sign it circuit. Numeron creation. Shell of Chaos. Got Cybers. D save worm. <laughs> Limiter removal. One of the new artworks in the tin, alongside with Regeki and Harpy's Feather Buster. And we got Honest. Magic Key. Got another Ultra Rare there. Now, for our last pack before we head to our last tin. Kaku commanded to Crone, Axian Trust, Moesa Knight, the Comet General, Katane, got the Rum Heart, number 39 Utopia Double, another card that needed to be reprinted. We will definitely take that one for sure. Got E Pearly Plump, and Gold Pry, the crowd goes wild. 
Alright, we're down to our last ten. Aw oh, man, this is a lot of fun. Alright, here it is. Our last three tens. Let's see what we can get out of these packs. Got a Shattered Colorless Realm. Mental Tuner. Soul of the Supreme King. Invoke. Bahamut Shark. Melfi Hide and Seek again. Sega of the Dragon Emperor. Our, on to our second one of our last ten, that is. Synchro over top. Hydrolander Orbit. Emperor. Yeah. Crown Exino. And I got another Blue Eyes White Dragon. Pearly Delicious Memory. Horned Saurus. The rest. And we're down to our last pack magic. Here we go. Can we end with an Exodia piece? One of the last ones. Well, hopefully, let's find out. Got Cash Tira, Digit Jamming, New Frontier, Starling Stare of the Snake Eyes, Noble Arms Museum, got First Movement Solo, Trap Tracks, Angel Mole Candle, and that's it. We've opened up six tens and got some amazing pulls here. Let's go through all the ones that we pulled. Yeah, I know I didn't pull SP Little Knights, but let's hope it's going to be a hard-to-pull card there, much like with the Bicel Lubellion that someone told me that. Oh, yeah. You know, that card would have been nice anyway, but two Blue Eyes White Dragon pulls? That was definitely worth it there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And with that, let's take a look at the card value results.